Hi guys and welcome to the channel. As the title says, I'm going to be entering my first powerlifting tournament in over 10 years. The last time I was in a powerlifting tournament, I was in high school weighing in at 123 pounds. I actually weighed a little bit less than that. I took second at that meet. It was our state meet. That is the last time I've been in a tournament since then. I am going to be in a tournament about four weeks away. It's on March 10th in Grand Rapids, Michigan. This is going to be a series of videos where I do my bench, deadlift, and squat. And basically these videos are going to help me track my progress as well as let someone else who's thinking about getting into powerlifting or thinking about trying it for the first time, seeing what you would have to go through to prepare for a meet. Now I'm not saying what I'm doing is optimal for everybody. I'm saying that this is what I'm using to train and prepare for my meet, the first one I'm doing in 10 years. So today's exercise will only be the bench press. I'll obviously be doing other auxiliary lifts throughout the rest of my training, but I won't show those. These training videos are only going to be bench, deadlift, and squat, and today you're going to see the bench, so let's get training. First lift is 10 to 20 pounds by, I believe, 10 reps. So 10 to 20 pounds by 10 reps. These are roughly 20 pounds. So let's get that started. The warm up. Next, we have 30 to 40 pounds by 10 reps. I think the hardest part for me is going to be retraining my muscles to realize that I have to pause. Another thing that's changed since the last time you guys saw me on this channel, I'm vegan now. We won't go into that today. I'll get into this in another video, in several videos I'm sure, but I've been vegan for about three months now. And just like that, we are officially done with all of the warm-up sets. We are starting the first working set. Now again, this workout depends on whatever you put as your one rep max. So I put my one rep max as 315. Uh, the most I've ever done is about 335, but I haven't done that in a couple of years. So I decided to start, I don't even know if I could hit 315 right now, but that's what I'm deciding to go with because I know I have the capacity and the strength capacity to do more than that if I'm trained. So I put 315 in there. Uh, I have to do 75%, which is around 235-ish, somewhere around there, 235, 240. So I'm gonna do 235 
for five sets of five and that's my working sets and the second part of this since it was designed by Mark Bell is to use the slingshot I have the red slingshot and then you do four sets of 75 or 80 percent with the slingshot on so you'll see that next let's get into the working sets I will say that the biggest differences I've seen so far with powerlifting training as opposed to bodybuilding is the amount of volume now I'm not saying there aren't powerlifting systems where you can do a lot of volume but I see for strength gain the volume that I'm doing is vastly different as well as the way I'm tiring the muscle uh, for hypertrophy is vastly different. This is for strength, not so much for hypertrophy or the look. So there's a longer break in between two. So it's, it's taking some acclimating for me to get used to that as well as pausing. So my mental cues here are keep my shoulders back, drive them into the bench, keep my elbows back, and then also make sure I pause each reps. So there's the first set of five. I definitely forgot to pause one rep right there. So today is a prime example of why it's very important to listen to your body. I've been sick all day. I actually didn't even go to work today because I was sick, but I decided late at night that I'm still going to try to do my bench press workout. I have 235 on here. I'm supposed to do five sets. I don't want to let any doubt creep into my mind yet, so I'm still going to attempt it for this second set, and hopefully I can make it through the next five sets. But with that being said, I have to listen to my body. If I can't do the five sets at this weight, I will drop it down to 225 and continue the five sets at that weight. So I don't want anyone to think that I'm cheating the uh, exercise by doing that, but you have to do what you can do that day. This is also a prime reason why you don't cheat the one rep max part of this because the percentages are based on that one rep max. And if it's not a weight you can do, then you may not be able to do the working sets because of that. We made it. Sadly, due to that last set, we have dropped the weight to 225 pounds. We are no longer doing 235 pounds. As much as I want to be sad or depressed about it, I can't be depressed because I've been sick for four days with the flu. As much as you want to do mind over matter, your body can only do so much. And I'm positive next week I will hit all of my percentages as well as all of my reps and sets. So I'm not worried about that. Let's get back to it. Set four. That was a struggle too. So since I am running out of space on my memory card, I'm gonna hurry this up. I'm not gonna show you the fifth set. So I have one more set of 225 by five. And then you're supposed to do three to four sets of three reps of 80% using the slingshot. This allows you to do a little bit more weight. So I'm supposed to be doing 252. I'm gonna do 245. 
because I couldn't do the weight I needed to with my 5x5. Five five. So 245 by 3, 3 to 4 sets. I'll show you that first set and then I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look forward to the rest of this series. Catch you guys in the next one.